Joe Rogan recently was on his podcast and opened up the Word of God and read it out loud for millions to hear. But is their final end result of this passage in Scripture actually biblical in their thinking? Well, in today's video, we're actually going to dive into that question a little bit deeper and see how this turns from something amazing and glorious to see the Word of God being read on the Joe Rogan podcast to all of a sudden turning into something that it should not turn into. So with that being said, here is Joe Rogan reading the Bible aloud. In the Bible, in Ezekiel's description of the wheel within a wheel, and have you read that description? No. This is one of the favorite descriptions from the Bible from the Old Testament about UFOs that people love to, to bring up. Because Ezekiel has this thing that he describes. The wings were spread out with the tips of one pair touching the creature on either side. The other pair of wings covered its body. Each creature went straight ahead. Wherever the spirit went, they went. They didn't turn as they want. The four creatures looked like blazing fire or fiery torches. Tongues of fire shot back and forth between the creatures. And out of the fire, bolts of lightning. The creatures flashed back and forth like strikes of lightning. There was something that looked like a throne. Sky blue like a sapphire with a human-like figure towering above the throne. From what I could see, from the waist up, he looked like burnished bronze and from the waist down like a blazing fire. Brightness everywhere. The way a rainbow springs out of a sky on a rainy day, that's what it was like. It turned out to be the glory of God. So as we can see here, he's reading this passage and beautifully explaining the glory of God. Beautifully just going out aloud and reading this passage for all to hear. And a lot of people, like Joe Rogan said, like to use this passage to kind of give the evidence for UFOs. This does not give the evidence for UFOs, but as the scripture is saying at the end, it is revealing the glory of God. But Joe Rogan and his guest are going to take a different direction on what this is. To anybody that's done DMT or ayahuasca or really tripped on psychedelics, though, you read that and it feels sort of familiar. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The glory of God. Yeah, the glory of <laughs> and God. And these visions of these yeah. beings. And the, the fact that these things are like constantly changing their appearance. Yeah. Like, but down in the Bible. The Bible. Maybe he found some of those mushrooms. You know? yeah. No, guys. Um, they did not find mushrooms. They did not dabble with some type of hallucination drug when writing the Bible and when writing the scriptures. No, they experienced and saw the Lord, the glory of the Lord. The authors of the Old and New Testament were not high on drugs as some claim. No, they were sober minded and they were focused on getting the glorious, the glorious of the word of the living God out to as many as possible. The truth of all things given out to as many as possible. Be cautious, guys, when people like Joe Rogan and his guest here are saying, oh, this is what you need to do to experience the Lord. Oh, take these drugs and you will see God. No, I'm going to say it over and over and over again. If you want to see and experience and hear from the Lord, fall on your face before him, open up the word of God and begin reading it and you will hear from him and he will teach you and mold you and shape you and correct you and show mercy and kindness to you. Guys, you want to hear from the Lord. You want to experience the Lord. Go to his living word. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the BTT Ministry YouTube channel as well as drop a like and a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, you might like this one over here.